So I'm running a fuel flow test just to make sure that my system is flowing properly. I pulled the filter, cleaned it. Uh, filter looked good, very little of anything in there, just a few little pieces of lint fuzz. So what I've got is I've got the fuel line disconnected at the carburetor. If you didn't hear, I can see. So there it is, disconnected the carburetor. I've got a catch can right underneath it to catch the fuel. The plane is sitting in its normal three-point attitude. Could be a little more nose high, but this is what I got in the hangar. And you can see the Dynon recording fuel flow here. So I've been running for about five minutes or so, uh, I think. Anyway, um, right there at the middle, uh, 20.1 gallons per hour. It's in red because that's a tad bit high on, on the Jabiru. Um, and drained out 2.1, 12 and a half to go. 37 minutes at that flow rate, so I'll be out of gas very soon. Anyway, um, if you do a fuel flow test, make sure that you don't leave the hose dangling all the way at the ground. It's convenient to put your, your jug on the ground and just let the foot hose just let the hose dangle all the way down into the jug. But that additional distance that the outlet is positioned down there will change the pressure drop between the center of gravity of the fuel in the tank, center of gravity of the fuel in the tank, and the outlet, say that's way down here now. So you want to keep it approximately where your fuel inlet is. So I changed the, um, the jug. I've got a five gallon jug. I filled up the five gallon jug, put a new one underneath it. You can see I burned out, or I've drained out four, 5.5, uh, another nine gallons to go. The flow rate has dropped to 18.7, and that says the tank head pressure drops, the flow rate drops. So I'll do this again when I put the third jug in there, and uh, we'll see how, it, how the flow rate tapers off as the tank gets empty. All right, so I'm coming up on my next five gallon mark. So I'm just about at, at 10 gallons total drained. There's 10 and flow rate of 17.0. So we'll go ahead and stop the flow, change out the container. And then uh, drain that last 4.6. All right, so uh, I'm getting pretty low in the tank. You can see there are 2.7 remaining. Uh, current flow rate of 16.5. Now that's, uh, I mean, that's less than VFR reserves. Um, the Jabiru has a max full power wide open throttle fuel flow rate of about 10 gallons per hour. So I'm still better than 150% of full power requirement. Uh, that would be 15 gallons and I'm showing 16.5. So we'll drain this out and see what it looks like right before it quits. All right, getting down to the last little bit here. Um, about a half a gallon in the tank. And there may be a little bit more in there. We'll see how accurate the Dynon is. We'll let it run completely out. And it'll go into a negative number, so we'll be able to tell. So we're showing uh, 0.4 gallons, 15.4 gallons per hour. Again, that is still meeting our 150% flow rate with a, a nearly empty tank. So it's dropping fast. So the flow rate is coming down to a trickle. And that's it, we're empty. So pretty impressive if you ask me. Uh, the Dynon says we're empty and sure enough, we're empty. So it was uh, 2335 Zulu when we started and we're at about 30, Three. So zero zero thirty three Zulu. So we'll call it a little under an hour. So we drained fourteen point six gallons with a few breaks to switch fuel tanks in a little under an hour.